Hello and welcome to Coding a Clock. In this video, we'll be discussing how to prepare for the NPTEL exam of programming in Java. Java is one of the most popular programming languages used in software development, and mastering it can open up a world of opportunities for you. Whether you're a student or a working professional, this exam can help you enhance your skills and gain recognition in the industry. In this video, we'll be covering the exam pattern, question types, important topics to focus on, study materials and resources, and preparation tips and strategies. So, let's dive in and get started. Now that we have an overview of what we'll be discussing in this video, let's take a closer look at the agenda. Here are the main topics we'll be covering. Exam pattern, understanding the format of the exam, including the number of questions, time duration, and marking scheme. About assignments, knowing the importance of assignments and how to approach them to maximize your learning and preparation. Certificate criteria, understanding the eligibility criteria for obtaining the NPTEL certificate, and the minimum score required to pass the exam. Questions type, examining the different types of questions you can expect to encounter in the exam, including multiple choice questions, programming questions, and descriptive questions. Topic to be needed, identifying the most important topics to focus on while preparing for the exam, including data types, control statements, arrays, functions, classes, and more. Summary, summarizing the key takeaways from the video and providing some final tips and strategies to help you succeed in the NPTEL exam of programming in Java. Let's start by looking at the exam pattern in more detail. Before we dive into the specifics of the NPTEL exam of programming in Java, let's first take a moment to introduce our channel and what we do. Welcome to Coding a Clock, your go-to destination for NPTEL assignment solutions and exam preparation tips. We specialize in providing high-quality content and resources to help you ace your exams and achieve your academic goals. In this video, we'll be focusing on how to prepare for the NPTEL exam of programming in Java. This exam is designed to test your knowledge and understanding of core programming concepts in the Java programming language, including data types, control structures, functions, arrays, and object-oriented programming. Whether you're a student looking to improve your grades, a working professional seeking to upskill and enhance your career prospects, or simply someone who loves coding and wants to learn more, this video is for you. To start off, let's talk about the exam pattern for the NPTEL exam of programming in Java. There are two types of exams that you might encounter. Unproctored programming exam. This type of exam is conducted online and can be taken from anywhere with an internet connection. It consists of multiple choice questions, fill in the blanks, and coding questions. You'll have a set amount of time to complete the exam, and you can take breaks as needed. The exam is unproctored, which means you'll be on an honor system to complete it honestly. Proctored exam. The proctored exam is conducted in person at an exam center, and it's monitored by a proctor to ensure the integrity of the exam. This exam consists of multiple choice questions, fill in the blanks and coding questions, and you'll have a set amount of time to complete it. It's important to note that the proctored exam carries more weight in terms of certification, so if you're looking to get a certificate, you'll need to take and pass the proctored exam. So, without further ado, let's get started with the exam pattern and what you can expect from the NPTEL exam of programming in Java. Now that we've talked about the exam pattern, let's take a closer look at the unproctored programming exam. This exam is conducted online and is available in two sessions, the first session from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., and the second session from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. You have the option to attempt either one or both sessions, and your best score will be taken into consideration. Each session consists of five programming questions that need to be completed within a time frame of two hours. It's important to note that this exam is conducted in an unproctored environment, which means that it's your responsibility to maintain academic integrity and adhere to the exam rules and regulations. Make sure you're aware of the exam guidelines before attempting the unproctored programming exam. Now, let's move on to the proctored exam. 
This is a three-hour exam with a total of 55 compulsory questions. Unlike the unproctored exam, there is no negative marking in this exam. All the questions are compulsory, so make sure you attempt them all. The exam will test your programming skills and knowledge of Java programming concepts. So, it's important to prepare well and have a good understanding of the subject matter. It's also important to note that the exam is conducted under the supervision of a proctor, who will monitor you throughout the duration of the exam to ensure that you adhere to the exam rules and guidelines. So, make sure you arrive at the exam center well in advance and carry all the necessary documents and materials with you. Now, let's take a look at the questions and marking scheme of the NPTEL programming exam. The exam is divided into three sections, each with a different number of questions and marks. In section 1, there will be 10 questions worth 20 marks in total. In section 2, there will be 15 questions worth 30 marks in total. In section 3, there will be 30 questions worth 50 marks in total. It's important to note that all questions in the exam are compulsory, and there is no negative marking for incorrect answers. So, make sure to attempt all questions to maximize your score. Assignments play a crucial role in determining your final score for the NPTEL programming exam. In fact, about 70% of the proctored exam questions are based on the assignments. That's why it's important to take them seriously and submit them on time. The assignments are also a great way to practice and reinforce the concepts covered in the course. There are a total of 12 weekly assignments, and out of these, the best 8 assignments will be considered for evaluation. It's essential to note that the marks obtained in the assignments will be added to the final result. Therefore, make sure you complete and submit them with utmost dedication and accuracy. The criteria for receiving a certificate in the NPTEL programming and Java course are as follows. Your final score will be calculated by adding your scores from the assignments, unproctored programming exam, and proctored exam. To be eligible for a certificate, you must score at least 10 out of 25 on the assignments, 10 out of 25 on the unproctored programming exam, and 20 out of 50 on the proctored exam. Even if your final score is 40 out of 100 or more, you will not receive a certificate if you fail to meet any one of these criteria. So make sure to perform well in all three components of the course to be eligible for the certificate. In the NPTEL exam for programming in Java, you can expect to see a variety of question types that test your knowledge and understanding of the subject. Let's take a look at the different types of questions you may encounter. Multiple choice questions. MCQs are a common type of question in the exam, where you will be given a question with four options, and you need to select the correct one. These questions may be based on concepts or syntax, so make sure you have a good understanding of both. True or false questions. True or false questions are another type of objective question where you will be given a statement, and you need to decide whether it is true or false. These questions can test your understanding of basic concepts or programming logic. Fill in the blanks. In this type of question, you will be given a statement with a blank, and you need to fill in the correct answer. These questions may test your knowledge of syntax, data types, or concepts. Code output questions. In code output questions, you will be given a piece of code, and you need to determine the output that the code will produce. These questions test your understanding of programming logic, syntax, and data types. Code writing questions. Code writing questions are open-ended questions where you will be asked to write code to solve a problem. These questions may be based on topics such as arrays, strings, or loops, and may require you to write complete programs. Conclusion. By understanding the different types of questions, you can prepare yourself to tackle each type effectively and maximize your chances of success in the NPTEL exam. Section 1, Programming Fundamentals. This section consists of 10 questions, each carrying two marks. 
The questions in this section are designed to test your understanding of programming fundamentals such as data types, control structures, loops, and functions. The questions may also involve coding in Java to solve simple problems related to these concepts. It is important to have a clear understanding of these basics before moving on to more advanced topics in the subsequent sections. Make sure to practice coding exercises related to these concepts and revise the theory thoroughly to perform well in this section. Section 2 consists of 15 questions worth 30 marks. This section will have observation-based questions, where you will need to find the output of a given program. These questions will test your ability to read and understand code, as well as your knowledge of programming concepts such as variables, loops, and conditional statements. To prepare for this section, make sure you have a solid understanding of basic programming concepts and practice reading and analyzing code. Section 3 is the largest section of the NPTEL programming in Java exam, consisting of 30 questions worth 50 marks in total. Here are some important details you need to know about Section 3. Points to remember. This section includes questions related to Java programming concepts and their implementation. There will be questions on data structures, algorithms, OOPS concepts, and exception handling, among others. Some questions may require you to write code snippets, while others may ask you to choose the correct option from multiple choices. Make sure you have a strong understanding of Java programming and its concepts to perform well in this section. Section 3 carries the highest weightage in the final score, so it's crucial to prepare well for this section. Let's move on to the next slide to learn about the topics you need to focus on to crack this section. Areas to focus. To ace the NPTEL exam on programming in Java, it's crucial to have a strong grasp on the following topics. Overview of Java. Understand the basic principles and features of Java programming language. Programming elements. Learn about data types, variables, operators, control statements, loops, and arrays. Input-output operations in Java. Get familiar with reading and writing data too, from files and user input. Output. Inheritances. Understand how inheritance works and how to use it in Java. Exception handling. Learn about handling exceptions in Java and writing robust code. Multithreading programming. Learn about multithreading, synchronization, and concurrency in Java. Networking in Java. Learn about networking concepts, including sockets, URLs, and HTTP. AWT. Get familiar with AWT, a Java-based GUI widget toolkit. ODBC. Learn about ODBC, a standard API for accessing databases. Interface and packages. Understand interfaces and packages in Java, their purpose, and how to use them. Make sure to focus on these topics during your exam preparation to increase your chances of success. Hello everyone. We have covered a lot of ground in this video on how to prepare for the NPTEL exam of programming in Java. Let's quickly summarize what we have learned. We started with an introduction to the exam pattern and discussed the difference between unproctored and proctored exams. We also talked about the types of questions and marking scheme used in the exam. We then covered the importance of assignments and their weightage in the final score. We saw that doing well in assignments can boost your chances of getting a certificate. After that, we discussed the criteria for getting a certificate and the areas of focus for the exam. We saw that topics like inheritance, exception handling, multithreading programming, and networking in Java are important for the exam. To prepare for the exam, you should practice programming in Java and work on assignments regularly. You can also check out our channel Coding O'Clock for NPTEL assignment solutions and other helpful resources. Thank you for watching this video on how to prepare for the NPTEL exam of programming in Java. We hope that this video has provided you with valuable insights and information that will help you in your exam preparation. If you have any questions or need any further assistance, please feel free to contact us at codingoclock at gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Coding O'Clock to stay updated on our latest videos and solutions to NPTEL assignments. Thank you for choosing Coding O'Clock as your learning partner. We wish